Mr. President, I'm at that job opening. We have another applicant. What kind of person is it this time? This time the applicant is a girl. I read her application and she has neat handwriting and her photo was real pretty cute. I see, so she's cute. Mr. President, you better not hire her based on looks. Well, you shouldn't have mentioned it. Uh. Of, of course not. What do you want to do? Do you want the interview now? Sure. Uh. I want to be a candidate. Great, let's do this. You'll need to look respectable for the interview, of course. You know, it's kind of a pain to put on glasses every time I do an interview. Can't I just interview like this? Mm. Oh, heavens no. It's important for you to look intelligent. If you say so. Help wanted. Again. <laughs> you look really good in those, you know. Wait a minute. Are you just making me wear these because you like them? What? Well, um, actually... Here's the next candidate. It's time for the interview. Guess you're off the hook for now. Come in. Excuse me. I'm Sakura Ko Jogas Jogasaki. Nice uh. to meet you. Yes, likewise. Oh, right. Please have a seat. Thank you. She seems so ladylike. Yes, apparently her family was a traditional Japanese inn. Maybe she helps out there? Mm. Makes sense. I can see her wearing a kimono. Well, we better ask her some questions. We do figure out if she'll be a good fit here. Right, so, Jogasaki-san, why don't you make take a minute to tell us about yourself? Yes, certainly. <laughs> I'm impressed. This sounds like a real interview. <laughs> Picked up a good book on interview techniques. You're studying on your own? I'm so glad you're finally taking your presidential responsibility seriously! <laughs> well, naturally. Hello. Um, may I begin? Oh, right. Sorry, please hey. do. Okay, my name is Sakurako Jogasaki. I majored in business administration. My biggest strength is that I have actual work experience. My family went to a traditional inn, so I worked with guests daily while growing up. When we were short staffed, I was even put in charge of the kitchen. I learned how to cook from pros. If I ever get the chance, I would love to bring you a traditional meal. <laughs> I'm confident about my eagerness and fitness. I mean, I means I won't don't give up easy, easily. I very much hope you'll give me the opportunity to prove myself for you. Also, I often get asked at interviews, so I will save you to bother doing so. I'm wearing plain white underwear. Thank you. Mm. What? Wow, that was solid. She even told the color of her underwear to shut that down quick. She's uh. amazing. Yeah, now I don't have to ask her. Kirio, let's talk about what she just told us. Was there anything you, anything you might want to get more details on? Should we talk about more in detail? You said you had confidence in your fitness. Why is that? I belong to the dance club at my university. Dancing is more physically taxing than it may appear, so I think it has helped me build my endurance. Kirio, being an avid dancer, can confirm this. I see. I imagine you do traditional dancing for your guests, or maybe you can do that once you take over the inn. <laughs> Perhaps, but for now I would rather find fulfilling work at your firm rather than think about the family inn. Mm. So she dances? She looks great doing a traditional dance in a kimono. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Talk about it in more detail. Why aren't you taking over the family Hi. inn? Well, I do find the job rewarding in its own way, and I love interacting with the guests. However, it's also a very small and close world. The entire day revolves around the inn and nothing else. Even if I were to eventually inherit the inn, I would like to broaden my horizons out here in the real world before I settle into that role. Mm. Ah, she's got it all figured out. She does. Should I ask her more about it in detail? You said you're a good cook. What are your signature hey. dishes? Let's see. I'm quite good at meatloaf, omelets with rice filling. Hmm, what else? Oh, I make a pretty great white sauce. I often use it for preparing gratins and European pasta dishes. Hmm, <laughs> I could go for some pasta. Oh, that's impressive. You can make a white sauce from scratch, and you're so worldly. That's impressive. It's easy to overcook white sauce, you know. Until I got the hang of it, I found it a challenge, too. Assuming I get the job, I'd be happy to bring some into for you to try. <laughs> Oh, really? Yes, Boy. please. Hey, hey, th this is a job interview, not a restaurant. That's about all the questions we have, I think. Jogasaki-san, do you have any questions regarding our firm? Hi. 
Yes, not to be too forward, but is there a large inequality gap between men and women here? Mm, no, I wouldn't say that. Thank you. It's a great relief to hear that. Times are changing, you know. I was hoping I could find a job that would let me work just as hard as any man. We have to hire Yogasaki-san, Mr. President. She's a keeper for sure. Hmm, hmm I'm not sure about that. What's there to think about? A girl this courteous and so eager to work is a rare find in this day and age. Mm. It seems that way, sure, but there's something not quite right that I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Is there something wrong? Uh. Yeah, something's off. Something she said doesn't jive. You mean she's lying about something? Uh. Yeah, can't quite put my finger on it though. Hmm, what did she say that she struck you as inconsistent? Sorry, Yogasaki. Can you give me the brief summary of yourself again? Okay. My name is Sakuraku Yogasaki. I manage the business administration. The biggest strength I have actual work experience. My family runs a traditional inn. I work with guests daily while growing up. We were short staffed. I was even put charge of the kitchen. I learned how to cook from pros. If I ever get the chance, I would love to bring you a traditional meal. I'm confident my eagerness and fitness. It means I don't give up easily. Very much hope you will give me the opportunity to prove myself. Jeez, I struck you as inconsistent. Hi. Hmm. Hi. Oi. Ah, that was what was wrong. She worked in a traditional Japanese in kitchen, but makes a lot of European food, Western foods. Is her summary and signature dishes? Those two statements don't add up. Really? Well, now that I think about it, maybe you're onto something. Jokasaki, there's something inconsistent in your story. Inconsistent? Well, what might that be? You said your family runs a traditional Japanese inn, and that you helped out there on a daily basis. Yes, that's correct. You said you were put in charge of the kitchen, which made a better, which made you a better cook. Is that a problem? If I'm working in a kitchen, it's only natural that I should become a better cook. How can that be inconsistent? Marina, let's say you were to stay at a traditional inn. What kind of dinner would you expect? <laughs> well, if it's a traditional inn, it would be, of course, be Japanese cuisine like sashimi and nimono. Oh, and when winter, hot pot would be wonderful. Uh. Right. And what's Jogosaki good at cooking? Meatloaf, omelette with rice, white sauce, or gratin, and oh. I don't know about you, but no traditional inn I know of would serve those dishes. Have anything to say for yourself, Jogasaki-san? Shit! Wow, so you're really gonna nitpick pick me on something that minor, huh? Bet you're a real hit with the ladies! Jogasaki-san? Yes, you're right, I made it all up! Grew up in a traditional inn? You're kidding? I came up with that to spruce up my resume, so what? But, but... Incidentally, I also lied about being a good cook. I got too carried away with the details, I guess. Was everything a lie? Even the part about doing traditional dance at school? You're the one who, the ones who assumed it was traditional dance. I really do belong to a dance club at school. My kind of dance is hip hop. It, it been hot. I am so done here. Hurry up with my cafe. I'll set up for 20k. Boy. Oh, okay. Wait, we don't pay scammers, huh? That's not what you promised. Supposing that I get cafe for taking an interview. Why else would I bother coming? You should be ashamed, you liars! Seems to me you're a liar too. It's okay for you to lie, but not us? Huh? huh? What's that supposed to mean? You don't make a damn bit of sense. Uh -huh. You just don't want to face the facts. Get over yourself, princess! I bet you got everything you wanted your whole life, huh? Well, wise up. Out in the real world, nobody's gonna pay you for self-centered lying through your teeth. Uh -huh. The real world is a jungle, not a playground, and nobody gets anything they don't earn. So get out of my sight. Ugh. Sheesh, I hope I never get on your bad side, Mr. President. Uh, yeah, sorry for shouting. <sighs> it's okay, but wow, that was impressive how you caught that inconsistency in our story. I didn't realize until you pointed it out. Yeah, it was kind of impressive, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm beginning to find new respect for you, Miss President Kiryu. Oh, but I guess we have to start over with uh. recruiting. 
Yeah, thanks for taking care of that. Of course, sir. Your ace secretary has your back. 